hello guys so this is the part two of this video as you all know if you've not watched the part two and you should go back that was where i reviewed the face watch so yeah part two we are going to be reviewing the moisturizer daily moisturizer what are the claims a light hydrating cream for soft supple skin every day so they're trying to tell us that it is nice for everyday use is that true yes you have to be consistent with this to see results let's first start with let's first start with you have to be consistent with this product this is not one of the products you use today you know there are some vitamin c products because of their very strong effects you are like you're going to use them maybe three times a day just because of their ingredients but this is not one of those products so let's talk about the ingredients it has almost the same ingredients as the wash vitamin c um vitamin b5 that's nice namide almond oil so basically it has a very nice set of ingredients i love the ingredients i got i got list them on the screen for you for so let's talk about what i saw in this moisturizer of course i use it every day so first of all it's thick it has a thick consistency it even came out it came out quite well today it came out quite well today it doesn't i don't like my face cream tea anyways because of my kind of skin so yeah yeah but the fact that is it is sticking it settles into your skin almost immediately like it is nice it absorbs into your skin it absorbs into your skin almost immediately very very nice texture it is thick but it has a very nice texture actually actually it's i don't know how they did it it's thick but it's not greasy it's not greasy it's it absorbs into your skin easily but it's thick but when it not absorbs into your skin it doesn't give your skin that perfect moisture for someone that has like a combination skin like me Sometimes my skin can be actually, my skin can be dry. So I say my skin is combination to dry skin. So for someone that has like a combination skin like me, most time I can't apply this when my face is dry. I apply this immediately. I have my, immediately I use my toner when my face is still wet. Immediately I just apply it, rub it. Because I really want to, I feel like I, I, I need that. I, I just need it to feel kind of, you know ah, there's this feeling i want it to have on my skin do you get that it doesn't give me and even after i use this i still feel like my my face is dry this is for my personal experience so for me it's not moisturizing enough for me i am just going to be i'm clear on that it's not moisturizing enough for me i have to apply more quantity for me to get the results sometimes i apply it and I go back and apply it again because I'm not getting what I want. Another thing I wrote here is makes you sweat if not blended well, my dear. You're gonna sweat like a goat if you don't blend this thing well. This is the day when I'm brushing out, I just make like I just apply this on my skin. Forget it. I'm just going to start sweating. It makes me sweat. So yeah, but on a day on. But on days when I'm calm, I'm not rushing anywhere, I have my time, do my skincare, apply it, it's perfect. On days like that, I literally need want more of it because I feel like it's not enough. So I want more of it. So yeah, so you need to blend it in well. If not, you're gonna sweat like a goat. And when it comes to it absorbing into your skin actually, I don't want to say it doesn't absorb fast. It's a product that dries up really fast. I think that's the word. It dries up really fast. Like when you when you take it out of this and you apply it on your skin, if you don't like rub it very fast, you're just going to realize that it's no longer. I don't know how to explain that part. But yeah. It doesn't really I don't like the way it absorbs into the skin. I don't like it. I love when I apply a product and it's still there for a, for a while for me to like rub it and 
and let it in it's it dries up if i put it on this part of my skin and i don't quickly rub it on my face it's just gonna dry up next point i i wrote here is it has a strong smell for you that have a very sensitive nose that's a very strong smell and the smell is not like really really welcoming like that that's a very strong smell but it's gonna like the smell is not gonna last forever it's not one of those products that the smell will like last for you forever and everybody's gonna be saying like ah you know you smell nice you know there's this cream i use then whenever i use it everybody tells me i smell nice because it's so strong but it's, it's a very nice smell but this is this is strong but it doesn't last doesn't stay for long so another thing i wrote here is uh, it could sting your skin for you that you have a sensitive skin yeah it could sting your skin i have a sensitive skin very sensitive skin and also when i got this product i think i had issues with my skin barrier if you have issues with your skin barrier there's no point going for this product and how are you going to know there's not you're going to know until you start using it and it starts stinging your skin or more i dealt with this bro this brother dealt with me i dealt with it not deal with me because it was always stinging me i was like why my skin is sensitive and it's even caused breakouts i don't know if you can see it caused breakout for me so now I, I had to like get products to repair my skin barrier this product made me realize that i had damaged skin barrier so i had to get products this product will work for your skin barrier you know that that's that's a topic for another day if you want to deal with your skin barrier it is not vitamin c that will do that for you you need to get some kind of soothing products for yourself that is another video and i think i got the damaged skin barrier from a product i used earlier before this it was not this product that damaged my barrier let us be clear with that it was not this product that damaged my skin barrier let us be clear with that i used the product before this for a review purpose that damaged my skin barrier because my skin is very sensitive and i don't have a oily skin my skin is kind of dry so when i use products that strips my skin of the moisture i need to really really um pay attention to repairing my skin barrier but i didn't do that so i just went straight into getting these products because i wanted affordable products at that point in time and i just felt like and i didn't know my skin barrier was was damaged yeah please don't you don't use this on a damaged skin barrier it's gonna sting you it's going to cause breakouts don't say i didn't want you <laughs> and it's suitable for oily skin mm -hmm. suitable for oily skin yeah because it's not it's not bad it's cool it's suitable for oily, oily skin why was that right here it's cool for dry skin like i said not too bad for dry skin but not the perfect product for dry skin let me put it like that it's not the perfect product for dry skin but a dry skin can decide to use it but it's not going to give you all those shiny effects that you're looking for your skin is still going to look dry like you see looking at it, it's going to feel dry so it's not going to give you a shiny effect but for dry skin you could try it but it's not the best pick for a dry skin for the benefits yes it helps you brighten your skin like it claims it helps like this product is a product that is just going to maintain your skin tone for you maintain your own skin tone it's not going to, it's not going to bleach you it's not going to take you like two tones fair or anything you get my point so i think that you should um consider this if you're trying to maintain your skin if you already have a perfect skin and you just need something nice to just maintain your skin you can get the set i think it's beautiful yeah ah thank you for this video so now we are going to be moving to the next we are going to be reviewing the next product which is the facial tonic this is my best one that i really want to review in the next video bye see you dear